Christmas morning can be chaotic from all of the excitement, but it is possible to have a relaxing breakfast with proper preparation. I have an easy crockpot breakfast that you can make ahead the night before Christmas morning. This recipe was given to me by my girlfriend Melanie at the Millionaire House. And this recipe itself is by Reynolds Kitchens and they have the best slow cooker liners for your slow cooker. It is guaranteed to clean up in eight seconds or less and I always grab a few boxes from my local Walmart for just a few bucks. It's such a small price to pay when you don't have to soak or scrub up a mess. Most of these ingredients you may already have. Four cups of white bread, that's about five slices. Eight strips of bacon, cooked and crumbled. Five eggs, a half a cup of evaporated milk, and one can of cream of celery soup. Also add your frozen spinach thawed and squeezed dry. This tip also came from Melanie. Place your wet spinach in a salad spinner. To get all that juice out, it works like a charm. Thanks so much, Mel. So you will also need to add your dried spinach, onions, red bell pepper, and shredded cheese all into the bowl and mix well. In a bowl, add your five eggs, salt and pepper, your can of cream of celery soup, your cooked and crumbled bacon, milk, and mix well. Next, pour your mixture on top of your dry ingredients and gently mix and let it sit in the fridge overnight. And here is the end result. It smells so delicious. It was so moist and good. It kind of reminded me of quiche. If you like quiche, this is the perfect breakfast. My first tip, if you have space, do it buffet style. It's just easier to let everyone get what they want and it allows you to have more room at the table and it's easier for me to clean up. I bet you already knew I was going to use a table riser. It helps to set your dishes at different levels. This riser, it was a DIY I did a few years ago, and I will have that link down below. This year, I'm keeping my decor simple by adding some flocked greenery underneath the table riser. And in keeping with my deer theme, I added some decorative silver antlers I already had. I added some balance to my buffet. It's the perfect accessory for an antique inspired look. I've had mine for years and it's from Home Goods. I thought it would be fun to add small dishes on them. I like to think of it as double duty decor. I purchased a pair of these pictures from at-home stores over the summer and I love the little rustic antique touch it has on them. I also added some mini evergreen trees I got from the Target Dollar Spot. They fit perfectly inside. So I added a cake stand to the buffet for height, and then I added one of two of my deer hood bowls I got from TJ Maxx around a Thanksgiving holiday, and I think it looks amazing on the buffet. And inside the bowl, I added mini mason jar yogurt parfaits. These are so easy to make, and it's something you can do the night before. I added my mini shaver dish inside our scrambled eggs in case someone didn't want the breakfast bake. On the opposite side of the island, I set up a little cocoa bar for the little people that were coming over. I got this giant marshmallow sheet from World Market, and surprisingly enough, this one sheet made a ton of marshmallows. This is something you can definitely do with your kids, and they can choose what shape or character they want to put inside their hot cocoa.
From our family to yours, Merry Christmas.